Hey everyone, welcome back to Problems I Have with a recurring series where I go into detail with some issues I see with a certain band, artist, personality, whatever it may be. And today, this is a very difficult one to make because I'm just fucking with you. This is probably the easiest episode that I have made yet. I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna do it until Brian Stars pushed me over the edge, putting out a copyright claim on a reaction video that I wasn't even trying to monetize on this channel. You might remember Shut Up and Kiss Me, the music video that came out a few weeks ago. I did a little reaction video to it. He was trying to get the video pulled. Uh, maybe it was full screen his network, but at the same time I know that he wasn't too happy with me considering uh, I had just turned off comments but he sent over or I put them on approval only and he sent over his little horde of fangirls to attack my channel with comments about nipples and all this other stuff and uh, I'm just thinking like hmm this is a 25 year old man and this is how he conducts himself this is how he acts and that's the first problem that I have with Brian Stars he's a 25 almost 26 year old man acting like a little emo scene kid from 2008. I don't have an issue with the fact that he hangs out with people that are a lot younger than him. Okay, that's fine. Surround yourself with whoever you want to, as long as they're legal. And apparently, I just realized that some of the people in My Digital Escape, his little clan and channel that he has going on, just turned 18. So maybe he was pushing it with some of those earlier videos that I've seen from him. But that's besides the point. Brian Stars just completely changes based on who he's around. And that's very, very evident. He started off as an awkward interviewer, which was fine. I thought some of the early stuff was kind of endearing for the fact that he was just a simple, genuine guy that seemed to be a fan of music, would ask some silly questions, but then they got worse and worse and worse. And I completely understand why Christopher Drew of Never Shout Never went off on him. He did an interview with him once, got these ridiculous questions, and then he comes back for another interview, and the whole thing was, oh no, Chris made Brian cry. He's a monster. Brian Stars is asking fucking questions like, what is your porn star name? And what's your finishing move gonna be? Or what would you do if you were in this situation if you had to fuck, marry, kill? Like, you're asking these artists who want to talk about their music all these ridiculous questions, and he has the nerve to ask everyone from Avenged Sevenfold to all these other more high-profile bands these absolutely absurd questions that make no sense like and you're asking the same ones over and over again like so many of his videos that I watched started off with the question well what would your porn star name be like shut the fuck up dude like you care about music supposedly yet everything you do is like uh, talking about other stuff for the most part yeah you work other stuff in there but at the same time you're trying to get these things that are just very ridiculous it's now moved on to all of his challenge videos he's completely done away with music on and interviews on his main channel and has turned in into uploading a challenge video like once a month or something like that and then on my digital escape instead of actual content they sit there do each other's makeup play challenge, play dress up, whatever the fuck they want to do. And it's not just Brian Stars or My Digital Escape, it's just such a trend that I see in YouTube. Instead of making actual content and talking about things or even adding some context to something, you just sit around and just be silly and have fun. And then apparently you get viewers for that. Now, I have noticed that it's significantly dropped off for the amount of people that actually seem to care about Brian's main channel in particular, considering the views for those challenge videos down and I am more than completely okay with this considering they are fucking terrible. Hey guys, it's Brian Stars. I have a mop on my head and it looks fucking terrible and I'm gonna look half stoned the entire video and it's just, I I'm sorry to comment on that. That might seem petty but at the same time you have curly hair, you're 25 and you've grown it out so long and now you're straightening it and it's just like, I'll see him in these settings, people will post a picture with him and it'll get retweeted and be in my timeline. Like, oh, I'm at Brian Stars. And he, you can tell that he's been out in like humidity and it's just kind of halfway curling up and it is just too impossible to not laugh at. It's okay, I straightened my hair back when I was like 16, 17. Maybe he's just entering his phase now and has to get it out of his system and just rebel against something. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but another problem that I'm seeing big time with Brian is 
the music that he's putting out. Holy shit. Consider this an EP review within a problems I have with because his Follow Your Dreams EP is the most cliched piece of shit that I have listened to since the MySpace days. And that seems to be exactly what he's going for. He's got a song called Tonight where he's literally just repeating the same old fucking cliches recycled over and over again and just pumping them in and saying, oh, tonight let's go fucking crazy tonight. We're gonna make this the night that we remember, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Who wants to hear that same old bullshit? Shut up and kiss me. It looks like you stole from Fall Out Boy and Walk the Moon and put it in your own shitty song that sounds like it wants to be 2008. So, so Bad. If my if he could live in my space, he looks like he probably would. Moving on to the next major point that I have, it's Brian's Twitter account because it is just a flaming pile of shit. Just an absolute cesspool. Are you seeing this? up on screen here. How many times did he tweet the same exact thing? And it's not the fact that he's tweeting the same thing and it's his own original lyrics or content or something. No, Brian goes on Tumblr, copies and pastes quotes or else takes them off of the picture that's on screen and just tweets out relatable or funny or pizza pop punk uh, emo culture things just to get the fucking likes and retweets. I guarantee you if he sat there and just actually tweeted his thoughts, he probably wouldn't get enough likes. So he has to of course just rip them from Tumblr or wherever and talk about all these posts about, oh, being lonely or if I just had you, that's all I would need. And it's just like, who are you talking about, man? Like, who who exactly are you pandering to? I know exactly who you're pandering to, and it's absolute bullshit. You sit around, copy and pasting all day, doing what you do, going out on tour, doing God knows what. Are you singing? Are you doing challenge videos on stage? I don't understand why anybody would pay money to see Brian Stars and My Digital Escape on tour, and I don't understand why all these Vine stars and YouTubers go on tour because it's like, what, what, what do you do? You wanna spend money on that? Fine, be my guest. But my point here is the fact that Brian has absolutely no idea what he's doing and how to run his Twitter account without just absolutely plagiarizing. And it seems like that's how his songwriting goes as well because every song that he's written for this Follow Your Dreams EP is just copy and pasted from somewhere else. So it makes sense that that's exactly what he does on his Twitter account and in his music. I don't normally come off this biased in my videos, but hey, Brian, if you're watching this video, fuck yourself, dude. I can't fucking stand you. I've never been able to stand you. You're absolutely terrible. This has been building up for a long, long time. I don't understand why we let things like this slide and how they have so many fans. I mean, there's people like Jacob Sartorius in the world that actually have a huge following for basically doing nothing nothing whatsoever and not adding anything in the creative world. So maybe Brian, if you stepped up your game, just be yourself, man. That's the advice that I'm gonna offer you. Stop trying to be this like emo culture god or relatable god or whatever you're trying to be. I, I, it doesn't work, man, and you're making yourself look absolutely pathetic. I know you've got the teenage fangirl thing down pat, but if you actually want to rise past that someday once they grow up, maybe consider branching out a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Problems I Have with Brian Stars. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. I'm sure Brian's fans are just gonna be attacking in hordes in the comments section, so be careful. Be careful down there. It's gonna be, uh, you know, light traffic conditions at first, but things are gonna get real intense and I'm anticipating about a 500 car pileup. <laughs> I know that's a terrible way of putting it, but seriously, the comments on problems I have with can just be a train wreck. This is all just how I feel. I'm sure you probably feel differently. Maybe a lot of you agree. Let me know in the comment section down below. Politely, let's get a discussion going because if you're just gonna say, fuck you, Brian, it's the best, I'm gonna delete your comment like instantly. Seriously, it's not even worth your time, you little keyboard warriors. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys very soon right here on Beyond AR TV.